Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, one thing I haven't actually made in a long time is a one hour flipping challenge. However, I've kind of come to the realization that while I'm not opposed to doing one in the future, having that restriction is actually pretty bad for actually successfully flipping and adds unnecessary tension and stress to something that is generally pretty easy. So because of that, I'm going to be making a flipping video today, but there's not going to be a time constraint or anything like that. I'm just going to be flipping some high volume items. I'm going to show you how I do it, what type of items, how many slots I have filled at any time. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy and let's get started. So we have 140 mil here. Uh, we've kind of been slowly draining our funds. Unfortunately, I just haven't really been flipping as much recently. And I've been paying for quite a few bonds because membership is $11. Now I do have GE Tracker open to the side here, but it's really just for ideas. I'm not really gonna be looking at prices too much here. Uh, GE Tracker is a sponsor of mine. Link in the description as always. One item set that always works pretty well is the individual pieces of barrows. So for example, if we do the Arim's rope top, just gonna price check it not worth my time to try to guess it checking the first margin here looking like 20k that's not too bad actually we'll go ahead and do uh i'll do six of them to start with unless you have a ton of money you don't really need to do the max buying limit because you can put in more as they come through instead of just having a bunch of money sitting there doing nothing a uh, really good flip i did yesterday was archer's rings Again, going to just straight up price check it. Margin is pretty bad. I wouldn't do that. 3K is not ever really worth doing. Got a first to rim top coming through. And we're selling it off for 19.98. Like if it's a really quick item, I'd potentially do like a 10K margin. One item I haven't really tried much is the dragon crossbow. And we'll do a couple of those just for fun. Let's just do four. Not an amazing margin, but it'll work. All right, we got a couple coming through already. Blowpipes have a 70k margin. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, I kind of feel like I'm going to not get that margin. But we'll go ahead and try to buy seven of them right now. We have a few more uh, Rims Robe Tops coming through for another 20k margin. All right, we got two coming through already. Let's see if we can sell them off quickly for 36.69 roughly. Hopefully, we can at least sell a couple because we did waste 70k just checking the margin. We sold off a couple Dragon Crossbows. Hey, we got a Toxic Blowpipe sold already. That's good. We at least made our money back there. And both of them sold off. Perfect. I guess we might as well go buy the other three dragon crossbows. You do generally want to flip the entire buying limit if you can, as checking the margin does cost money. And let's try amulets of torture. They can generally have a 50k margin sometimes on them. Right now we're looking at... Ooh, that's pretty slim. Probably not going to do that. The blowpipe I'm going to bump up a little bit possibly, just so we can maybe buy some more. We flipped three, including the price check. Uh, we could try another Arim's piece. We could try the Arim's robe skirt. Generally for the first like 20 minutes, I can't even fill up my offer slots because the items are coming through very quickly. It's not amazing, but we'll go ahead and do that. We'll do eight of the Arim's robe skirts right now. Okay, we finally got another toxic blowpipe for 36.15. We'll see if we can sell that still off for, was it 36.68? Still a very good margin. When you've invested a lot of money into a margin check like 70K, you definitely want to still attempt to get the full buying limit worth even if uh, you have to change the prices around a few times. Uh, we've sold and bought a few more things. We'll hit the collect button there. Uh, we've done all of the dragon crossbows, which is nice. We're still going to sell the rest of these for 4648. All right, actually a really nice margin on the dwarf cannon set. We have about a 16k margin and the item is very cheap. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy them for around 752k. The implant jar has a pretty good margin on it. We're going to mix in some high volume items as well. Really good for the implant jar. We're going to need to clear up some more inventory space because uh, we still have 80 mil left. Well, 70 mil now, uh, but not many spots left. We're selling off those toxic blowpipes. We've got a 50k margin on each one. Flipped uh, seven of them, so it's 350k off blowpipes, which I think is pretty damn good. All right, so we bought all of the rims of robe tops. So clear up some inventory space right now. Don't know what we're selling those for, I think 1998 possibly. Now again, we could just keep going with more of these because the limit on Barrow's items is 15 and there may not be a reason not to, except for inventory restrictions. Now that the crossbow is a lot cheaper, I'm gonna go ahead, man, God, why did they name it that? That is hilariously bad. Um, anyway, yeah, so now that the crossbow is cheaper, we should be able to actually flip it, and it's a pretty highly traded item, so it won't be that big of a risk. I think margin of, whoa, 100k, actually, that's quite good. And hopefully I didn't waste too much money there. We'll go for three crossbows. Unfortunately, for higher volume items, there's just no way to really get around it. You just need to do the price check. Sometimes you're going to lose money and not make any back, but the majority of the time you'll be 
uh, making a solid return on it. All right, we're gonna get our first crossbow coming through at 21050, and we're selling it for 21150, pretty much. Pretty important you get the right numbers in there. When you have a big margin like that, like 100K, you definitely wanna make sure you can at least sell the one back quickly, because oftentimes that margin closes or changes very quickly. And you want to at least have flipped one, so at least you haven't lost any money on it. So now we're at a point where our inventory is totally full. We're not really wasting too much money here, but we will need to clear some spots up soon. Now these implant jars aren't coming through as quickly as I had wished. I believe the price went up quite a bit. Yes, it did. Up to you at 10.20 and 10.50. Well, it's still a pretty good margin, so we'll go ahead and buy more at 10.20, I suppose. Sold off both of the dragon crossbows. That's nice. That frees up an inventory spot. Got another crossbow coming through. Uh, we definitely want to sell these off for still a decent margin, reduce it by a little bit. You definitely still want to be patient. You don't want to leave things too long, but a certain degree of patience is pretty good. Now, there's nothing wrong with going back and checking uh, items that had a bad margin previously because it changes very quickly. Okay, Armadale Helmet has a pretty decent margin on it, about 70k. We'll go ahead and do a few of those. While we are waiting here, we're pretty much filled up on inventory spots. We're going to go ahead and start selling off some of these dwarf cannon sets. Okay, I'm going to pull out the crossbow until I have sold the other two off. I don't really like risking having more than that even. The Rim's Robe Skirt has been a while since we bought one, so we're going to pull that out. And uh, let's go ahead and put the Drox Armor Set in. Uh, very quick items we'll do. Well, that's only seven actually. Alright, let's go make some toast. Okay, so we've sold off a few things here. We've sold off the crossbow, uh, an Armadale Helmet, talk to Blowpipes, and not much else. We'll go ahead and collect everything here. All right, I think we're going to do the Toxic Trident. It has a 70k margin. Pretty good. A bit of a slower item. Um, we'll go ahead and do... I'll do four of them to begin with. The Necklace of Anguish has a 20k margin. Really not that inspiring, but uh, we'll do it. Anyway, we sold off the crossbow finally. I think we lost a bit of money on that flip overall. Four of the Uncharged Toxic Tridents coming through already. And the margin was quite good. If we be a little patient here, maybe we'll be able to get the original margin. All right, look at that. We got two of the uncharged Toxic Trident sold off already for a... What was the margin again? Like 70k. So let's go ahead and do the last three of those most definitely. Perfect. We sold off another Necklace of Anguish. Okay, so we bought a bunch of the Implant Jars so far. I think I might turn around and start selling these now. Let's go recheck what they can sell for at this point. I am so confused. This item, man. Let's try selling for a little bit more than that because the 2 GP margin is pretty damn weak. We have a 34k margin on the Bando's God Sword. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. We can afford uh, four of them currently. I think we need to pull out the Armadale Helmet. No more of those have come through. We did get that one with a good margin, but eh, no more apparently. Yeah, let's try the Toreg's Plate Legs. I don't know. A pretty good margin on the Toreg's Plate Legs, actually. A 30k margin. Item's really cheap. We'll just go ahead and put in the max, which is 14 right now. We sold off another Toxic Trident, some Necklaces of Anguishes, and we bought a few new items. We have no room, however. Uh, yeah, I don't know where. Ooh, perfect. Okay, we've sold off a lot of things in the span of a few seconds here. Let's just hit collect. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy another three Bandos God Swords. I believe that will hit the limit for us. Look at a 34k margin on that. Quite nice. Okay, we finally sold off all of the Dwarf Cannon sets. Hit collect here. And uh, we sold off the last Bandos God Sword. Perfect. All right, so we have quite a bit of our money back. Let's go ahead and maybe try the Armadale Crossbow. A little bit of an expensive item and often doesn't have a huge margin on it, but we're gonna check anyway. Uh, yeah. 5K, definitely not worth doing. Well, we haven't done Furies yet. Let's try an Amulet of Fury. Generally too small of a margin to really be worth it because everyone flips Furies. <laughs> Actually, 10k on a Fury is pretty good. We'll go do that. Um, Torex Plate Legs, I guess we can probably try to sell for 377. Perfect. Uh, we'll probably pull out the Trident because that has not come through at all. Well, I guess we could try Whips. Uh, Eternal Boots have a 70k margin, really good. And a limit of 15, so that's actually a pretty good item. We'll start with uh, we'll do 5 to begin with here. We're probably going to want to follow up on this item because that was a 70k margin check, so we're going to have to change the round a little bit. Okay, we have uh, two sections of Fury sold off. No Eternal Boots yet. Fortunately, uh, it was a good margin though. Bandos chest plates have a 50k margin on them as well. We'll probably do four Bandos chest plates. And hopefully, we can hit the full bind limit on that one. First Eternal Boot coming in for 51.25, selling it for 51.97. Gotham armor sets have a 23k margin. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and do. 
I'll put in for six of them. And decent enough margin on the Saradoman Sword. About 13k. We will buy the full buying limit of that, I guess. And look at that, guys. A nice margin on the Eternal Boot. Still about 65k or something. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, we sold the Eternal Boots off and we got another pair. We really should try to do the full buying limit here because it's really good margin. Uh, how many have we done so far? One plus the three. So we can do three more. We have uh, two more Bandos chest plates. We can sell for 18,730. Nope, nope, that's not right. Sell for 18,779. All right, so now we're getting into the territory where a lot of these items are a lot slower. There are definitely others out there that you could do. But as far as doing this every four hours, this is probably some of the more optimal, quick, fast items that you can use to make your initial burst of money. From here, I either move on to slower items or just stop and wait till later until my four hour timer is done. So we pretty much went through most of the popular PVM items. Again, you can do this once every four hours. Let's see how much money we've made. And it looks like we're over a mil in profit. That's nice. We made about 1.5 mil in uh, roughly 45 minutes. Actively flipping is easily about two mil an hour doing the most brain dead, well known items on the Grand Exchange. Once you start finding less popular items that still do pretty well for flipping, find the items that flip overnight, stuff like that, you can do this much more passively. And once you get more money, you can move on to more expensive PVM items and maybe get three, four, five mil an hour at that point. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave the video a like and I will see you next time.